know it's a show about stocks, but every now and then it's worth checking in with important privately held companies that can give us a terrific read on their particular industry. That's why tonight, ahead of the 2016 Toy Fair that starts this weekend in New York City, we're going off the tape with Moose Toys, the Australian company behind Shopkins, which, for those of you who don't have small children, is the it toy at the moment. These Shopkins toys are a collection of googly-eyed collectibles and miniature cutified versions of boring everyday items that you might find in a typical store. These things have been flying off the shelves. The brand has been licensed for all kinds of merchandise, including apparel, bedding, and games. And there's even a Shopkins YouTube channel. So how does a company go about creating this kind of branding sensation? Let's take a closer look with Manny Stuhl. He's the chairman CEO, co-CEO of Moose Toys. Mr. Stuhl, welcome to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Yeah, great. You. Thanks for having me on board. All right, so now, Manny, i got to ask you. I mean, this is where period Star Wars, the biggest thing ever, and the giant companies like Disney can spend billions to build brands. Who are you guys to have the number one toy? Well, we're, a, we're an Australian company. We're based in Melbourne. Uh, we distribute to probably 80 countries around the world. Um, we've had huge success with Shopkins, Little Live Pets, another one we've got here, uh, Arts and Crafts, um, boys and girls. Um, just creating innovative product. How big are you now in America? We're, we're very big. We grew 100% last year. We grew 100% on the previous year. January this year, we're double again on last year. It's been unbelievable growth. This 12-pack uh, this was the number one selling toy of all toys in America no. last year. Oh, no. This 12-pack, can we get close to this? I'm asking for a close-up. I never do this kind of thing. But to me, it just seems like that these are little like pockets, uh, scissors. What am I uh, missing? It's a whole variety. What am I missing here? You're not missing anything. It's a whole variety of little creatures and characters. With but, the, yeah, I've seen these things on, on eBay them. for like a hundred and... I mean, there's some of eBay like a thousand. I mean... They're thousands. That's correct. Uh, they're not edible or anything. No, no, they're not no, edible. So we finished, finished this year at uh, number six toy company in America, uh, growing for number 23 last year. We're the only non-public company uh, that's done so well. We're the only foreign company other than Lego. There's cracked the top American 10 company. This year, we're hoping to be number five. Um, this is the number one selling item in America. We've got another SKU that was number three selling item in America. The growth has just been phenomenal. Oh, well, Manny, look, when I was at Goldman Sachs, we were trading the stock of Coleco. It was Cabbage Patch. People made a fortune. Why not make a fortune? Why not come public and capitalize off it? Well, we, we tried the pub. I've been, I've been public once before in a oh, gift company that I had. Um, we're a private company. We're very, very happy continuing to develop innovative product. The IPO or whatever, you never say yeah. never, but at this stage, no, we're quite happy with doing what we're doing, just growing in America. This YouTube channel, uh, how many people watch it? We've, we've had, uh, summing up all the YouTube um, views, we've had run, around about a billion views. A billion views? Yeah. Are you willing to uh, reveal what your next toy is and whether it's pre-sold? Well, we've got... Uh, we've got a lot of people watching us, of course. But yeah. We've got, we've got f on top of what we've got already established for the rest of this year in America, we've got five new programs, all of which have been placed for the majors already. They yeah. have. Full support. All right, okay, I'm, one last question. I'm Hasbro. I'm watching the show, because I know the Hasbro guys are watching the show. Uh, why can't someone say, you know what, I want to make uh, shop minis? That's endemic in the, in the industry. We found out in January that virtually every other toy company in America has come out with a girls collectible. And how they do it. And I've got no idea, but we're growing so rapidly with our new innovation, which no one's seen yet, except these majors. Um, and we believe that we can, uh, we can sustain this growth, irrespective of what's happening. Well, they're about. Goliath. I'm rooting for David. You're terrific. Thank you. That's Manny Stuhl, chairman and co-CEO of Moose Toys. Hey, these might as well be currency. Stay with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.